I think it's important to point out that, that bridges need regular inspection, maintenance, intervention occasionally by experienced engineers. That's what engineers do. It's not, you know, the idea that you just design and build a bridge and then walk away and expect it to last for 100 years is naive. And so when people get totally excited, oh gosh, you know, there needs to be lots of maintenance, this is normal. And so, yes, the fact that the bridge in Genoa has had lots of maintenance over its years, 50 years or so, is normal. Now, whether it's had more than might have been expected, who knows. But this bridge is a very unusual design. Um, uh, it, it's made of concrete. It's a pre-stressed concrete design. Um, and it's from a period of time, the 1960s, when um, we didn't really know as much as we know now about the way these structures behave um, in terms of durability and so on. So this concrete requires steel, high strength steel tension elements inside the concrete. Um, and those, of course, are the pieces that we need to worry about. There are no bridges of this sort, uh, that kind of particular arrangement, uh, outside the three um, designed by Mr. Morandi. Um, they are very unique. We don't know yet anything about what brought this bridge down. We must be very careful about that. We can speculate. It would be inappropriate to speculate too specifically, but um, clearly some kind of time-dependent deterioration is something one would want to look at. If a bridge is properly looked after and managed and maintained, it could last for you know, many centuries, and, and indeed many bridges have done, as you will know. Um, the more durable bridges are the ones made out of stone, which is a very durable material. These days we tend to build things out of lighter weight, more modern materials. Well, steel, for example, steel concrete, and the pre-stressed concrete I mentioned, that's a, a 21st century, or 20th century, shall I say, uh, um, invention and and we've been using it for for a good period of time where where pieces are invisible we need to uh, find ways of of being sure that they're in good enough condition you know advanced technology is happening all the time and 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 i think mainly it's the non-destructive and monitoring and uh, techniques that uh, are the instrumentation techniques that we have now developed and are developing that are helping us in in keeping an eye on the quality of the condition and whether therefore the bridge needs intervention at an earlier stage in this country we have a very good and established, well-established system for regular routine inspection and maintenance of our bridge top. And indeed, the Hammersmith flyover is just one such. I mean, that was strengthened, as you may know. Uh, recently, it had a problem just before the Olympics, you remember, um, uh, and it was uh, identified as a potential risk. The engineering uh, work was done. In fact, we were involved in that, um, and the bridge has been strengthened. What, what is absolutely clear is that it's an expensive business looking after complicated bridges which are in many cases over 100 years old.